talking on your cell phone in flight could be grounded before you start dialing. The FCC voted three to two to consider lifting its ban on in-flight cell use, such as voice calls and texting. The commission says new technology eliminates interference with cell towers on the ground, the reason for the decades-old ban. I don't want somebody sitting next to me saying, hi, I'm on the plane. It adds more noise, uh, more stress to the flight. One commissioner bombarded with letters from opponents. A third wrote simply, no. The FCC chairman says it's their job to worry about technology, not what passengers want. I'm the last person in the world who wants to listen to somebody talking to me while I fly across the country. But we are the technical agency and we will make the technical rules that reflect the, the way the new technology works. Thursday, the Department of Transportation said it would consider possibly banning the in-flight calls. The U.S. DOT's role is to determine if allowing these calls is fair to consumers, Secretary Anthony Fox said in a statement. In Congress, a new Senate bill also aims to ban the calls. It joins Republican Bill Schuster's House proposal. These uh, airplanes are confined, they're noisy already, and to have dozens of phone calls going on while in flight I think is, is annoying to the traveling public, and I just think it's unnecessary. But On Air, which provides cell service on planes around the world, says passengers haven't complained. Most users text, and the 3 to $4 a minute cost keeps calls short. All right, well, either way, this is a long process. It will be months before the FCC could actually lift its ban, and it would be months for the FAA to vote to impose a ban. Of course, Wolf, we should mention that carriers in other countries, they do already have the equipment on board that do allow in-flight calls.